This lesson is on passion fruit cutting tips, my top 10 helpful tips to successfully rooting your passion fruit cuttings. And this is Ivy Organics second annual free passion fruit cutting giveaway, which starts on September 1st of each year. And we are including three free cuttings as well as an expired four pound bag of our super blend fertilizer from our expired lot included with every yellow trio gift box set purchase. So I'm beginning today's lesson in the shade of our passion fruit vine canopy that have attached itself to our courtyard lighting system. Well, let's get started. Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Gangs, where we grow cool plants and authors saving the world with the home garden. And before we get started with the 10 tips, for rooting your passion for your cuttings, what I wanna do is share off again, the Yellow Trio gift box, which includes the Super Blend plus Azomite. And Azomite is basically a volcanic crushed rock and it's Omri Listed for your organic gardening, all purpose fertilizer, which includes all the macronutrients plants need, just, not just NPK, but also includes secondary macronutrients, calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. So this has the NPK plus magnesium, sulfur, and calcium necessary for important plant health. It also includes the three-in-one plant guard protection, which is also Omri listed for organic garden protection from damaging summer sunburn and insects and rodents to protect your tree trunks, lower branches. Also can be used as a foliar spray. All the directions are on the back, depending on how much water you add to it. Can be used as a brush on direction, foliar spray, as well as a tree paste. And then it also is gonna include your ready to use plant guard. That's gonna be one of the 10 tips that we're gonna talk about is spraying the leaves, as an anti-transparent and also helping with cloning success. And again, this is just simply derived from your pint can product. And then each of these trio gift boxes are gonna include one of our expired lot fertilizers. And again, it's gonna read on there, taped on there, expired lot, free gift included, your NPK MGSCA, those six macronutrients that are on all of our products do not expire. And as you can see, this is an old label, the six macros plus as we used to um, have in our title compared to the all-purpose fertilizer, which you see here. And it makes clear over there, the NPK MGSCA is right there on the front label. But as we've gone through all the different certifications, um, there was different rules applying with the different certifications that led us to this final label, which now also, unlike the old brand, now includes azomite for additional um, contribution towards your micronutrients. So the plants have even a better, well-balanced organic product and by ensuring that you're giving the plants all the macro and micronutrients, you can ensure your plants are gonna have a healthier, longer lasting and more productive life. So what we're gonna do now is prepare for the cuttings that are gonna be included in your gift box. And what we're gonna do is simply grab some of these tips. And I know this looks heartbreaking. I got some flowers and these flowers were surely fruit between now and December. Cause usually within about 60 to 90 days, we've got some fruits, but here we go. We're gonna take cutting number one and cutting number two. And let's grab one from back here. And we've got cutting number three. And again, with every yellow tree or gift box, you're getting three cuttings that are typically prepared within 24 hours of your order. What we're gonna do next is I'm taking a piece of paper towel and I'm going with just simply pure water and spraying the paper towel, somewhat moist, not dripping wet, but wet enough to keep the parts hydrated until it arrives to you. And what we're gonna do now is let's prepare the cuttings. Here's cutting number one. And what we're gonna do is we're going to um, basically create sections. And this is tip number one in regards to preparing your cuttings is making sure that you include about three to five nodes. If there's more than five nodes, if you're going, you know, let's say out to 10 and 12 nodes, if it's too long, it's more likely to dry out. And if it's too short, you wanna make sure you're dealing with something that's you know viable and not just like an inch long, even though it could work. The reasonable length for a cutting is about three to five inches, which I find to be about three to five nodes long. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right here at this node, and we're gonna remove the lower parts of the cutting so that our tip number two is gonna be, when we get there, is that we're gonna go a planting depth of about two nodes. So here's node number one that we just cut off the leaves and the flower. Node number two, which is over here. And then what we're going to do is continuously remove this here is another flower bud as well as the tendril. And we're going to cut those off as well and cut and cut 
also the leaves in half to help also reduce transpiration and the loss of moisture desiccation. So this is gonna help. And here's another flower bud, and there's another flower bud. We're just gonna simply pull those off as well as we don't want it to go into flower mode this year. The goal is simply root and grow. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the rest of them. All the rooting ends are now going to be scored like so. This here is gonna increase in moisture absorption as well as increase in rooting area. What we're gonna do next is we're going to add a rooting powder or this one in this case is Clonex, which is a rooting gel. And if you're interested in this product, I'll actually put a link to it down below in the video description. And we're simply going to dip it like so. And you can see what nice coverage you get using a rooting gel compared to the rooting hormones that we've used in the past. So all of these cuttings in this particular giveaway, we've used this Clonex rooting gel. So here's number one and number two and number three. And if you're not using a rooting gel, the other tips are to also use cinnamon powder or even honey, as it's gonna help protect those tips from mildew and rot and also help prevent, and which is one of the main reasons a lot of cuttings fail, is that they simply rot. I know a lot of you have been asking, are there any cuttings left? We've given away hundreds and we've got hundreds more to go. Um, as you can see, this part of the passion fruit vine hasn't been touched. There are other parts of passion fruits that we've got here on our property as well, including the parent plant that we're gonna be visiting next. Follow me. So I'm just taking another cutting. This here is the parent plant. As you can see, it's about maybe an inch diameter. This was planted in 2012. So it's about nine years old. The average passion fruit vine life is about seven. So it's really important to make sure you propagate by way of cutting, which is one of the easiest ways of cloning and ensuring that you have the same flavor, same yields, same quality as that parent plant by way of cloning compared to planting seeds. The seeds are the children of the parent plant, which could be similar, it could be better, and it could be worse. So, but this one here was picked out of thousands of varieties um, and, and you know a proven taste winner and that's the reason we've cloned and continued propagating it from our home in Florida to now our new home here in Los Angeles. And now just check out the vines. And this vine basically grows about 20 to 30 feet, maybe even 40 feet a year. And all of this will be used to create new passion fruit plants. This one cutting here is gonna probably generate about another 40 more cuttings. So a quick recap on the tips we've covered so far is to control your size of your cutting to about three to five nodes. Tip number two is to plant your cutting one to two nodes deep. Tip number three is also to prune your leaves in half to help reduce desiccation and the drying out of your cutting. Tip number four is to score the bottom, which helps with moisture absorption as well as root development. And then tip five is adding a rooting powder, rooting gel as we used in today's example. We can also use cinnamon and honey to help inhibit mold and mildew, which is one of the main reasons that a lot of cuttings fail. So tip number six is selecting the right soil medium. And here in front of me, I've got two examples of great products that can be used. One is perlite and the second one is vermiculite. Vermiculite, when you take a look at it, kind of looks like puffed fool's gold. And then when you take a look at perlite, perlite looks like puffed snow. Both of these products won't break down and rot as would a compost. For example, if using a product such as composted wood chips and leaves, as well as manure, or even using garden soil, will more likely than not contribute to the rotting of your cutting compared to using a mineral and also organic, as you can take a look here on the label. Over here, there's tape over it, reading that it's Army listed. And this one over here, also Army listed for organic garden. And as you can see, prevents soil compaction, promotes faster seed germination, and use with potting mixes and garden soils compared to over here, helps with, helps to prevent soil compaction, similar to the other one, 
promote strong root development. This is what we want. And use with potting mixes and garden soil. So perlite vermiculite. What we're gonna do right now for our soil mix is we're gonna use a combination of 50-50 perlite vermiculite mix. And this is what we're gonna do. So next we're gonna prepare the cup that we're gonna put our soil medium in. What we're gonna do is simply take a plastic cup and we're gonna be adding some holes to it like so. And then that's it. Just to show you the amount of holes we've added, if we add some water, you can see straight and right through. What we're gonna do next is add our soil medium. And again, we got that perlite vermiculite mix ready. And we're now gonna add the cuttings that we just prepared together at the beginning of this lesson. On this first day, we can water the cutting from the top. But from this point forward, all the water is gonna be coming from the bottom. And we're simply just gonna wet the bottom. From that vine that I just pulled off the parent plant, I was able to create all of these cuttings. And again, this is another method. To the right over here of me, we put a saucer to kind of collect water from that bottom five and 10%. We can do the same thing using a container like so. And again, we're gonna water the first time from the top. And then we're gonna make sure we water the bottom of the container and we're collecting water until it goes up the cup, five to 10% of the way. And we're gonna stop. We're gonna continuously watch this every morning, every night, and make sure that that water level stays in that bottom five to 10% of all of the containers and all the containers in here, as you saw earlier, we added drain holes. As you can see, water is dripping out of these drain holes that we collected using our scissors. Once these plants dry out, what we're gonna do is then spray them with the Ivory Organic 3-in-1 Plant Guard Protection Against Damaging Summer Sunburn and Insects and Rodents. And what this product is gonna do with the sunburn is not only help keep the plants cooler, but it's also gonna serve as an anti-transparent, which is gonna help further improve the cloning and rooting success of the plant. So what we're gonna do here, now that this plant's um, fairly dry, is we're gonna spray the leaves, like so. And you can see it's going on protecting not just the leaves, but also the stems from excessive sun. So by spraying the plants with the Ivory Organic 3-in-1 Plant Guard, it's helping to reflect some of the light, but it's also helping the plant better retain moisture, serving as an, as an anti-transparent and helping the plant better retain moisture until it finally develops those roots and gets off to an excellent start. So again, by spraying the leaves, it's also helping to improve your cloning success rates. Also, when rooting your plants, be sure to select a place that gets morning light. And by the afternoon, when it's most intense with sun, if you don't automatically move it, but strategically find that location where you don't have to do that much work, but find that place that gets the morning light. And then by the afternoon, finds itself in the protection of the afternoon shade. I love using this plastic cup method because you can actually see the roots coming through and you'll know when to then separate if you've done as I've done over here, put two to three cuttings per container. And then once I see the roots develop, I can pull them apart, put them in their own individual pots or begin integrating them into the home garden, planting them directly into the ground. And then I can start feeding them lightly with the Ivory Organics All Purpose Fertilizers that offer plants all of the macronutrients, not just NPK, which is what most of fertilizer brands are doing. This one offers that NPK plus magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. So you get all the macronutrients and the super blend has the added plus azomite, which delivers to the plant the additional micronutrients so that the plants again can have optimal health and longevity and productivity. Quick bonus tip, when it comes to passion fruit, wait for them to fall off the vine. As you can see, all of these passion fruit here on the floor have fallen on its own. This is today's harvest. This is an excellent time to take advantage of the Ivory Organics Yellow Trio Gift Box Special, which includes a four pound bag of our super blend from our expired lot, being just an older label that we can no longer sell, but still has the NPK MGSCA that never expires. Um, and we wanna make sure that you get advantage of this about $80 value in addition to three passion fruit cuttings from our passion fruit vine here on our property and excited to make that part of your home orchard successes and looking forward to hear about that. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this educational lesson brought to you by Ivory Organics. And if so, give us that thumbs up. And most importantly, share us with your gardening friends and family. And as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening. Oh, here comes another one.